Matt. Um, on the last one. Yes, sir. You commend this group. You're going to continue to support them, and yet you revoked the visa of their leader. I don't. That makes zero sense to me. Uh, well, uh, what, what, what's exactly going on? Well, I mean, uh, this group, uh, and I would. Yeah, but this is the guy who's the that, leader of this group, who the head of USAID lionized in a and per, you know, probably, uh, you know, that she sure. she lauded him sure. in a speech at the event that he was supposed to be accepting sure. an award that he couldn't get here for because the State Department canceled his visa while he was in the middle, while he was in midair, or well, presumably over the Atlantic. So that when he arrived at Dulles, he was promptly thrown on the next plane back to Turkey. And now here you are talking about how wonderful his group is. And I just don't understand how it works. So uh, a couple responses. One is, uh, unfortunately, we can't speak to uh, individual visa cases. Um, I think broadly speaking, though, uh, on any, on any uh, visa case, uh, uh, we are constantly looking at new information. Uh, uh, so-called continually vetting uh, uh, travel or records. Uh, and if we do have new information that we believe uh, this uh, an individual, let me finish, would, would pose a security risk, uh, we'll certainly act on that. I can't speak again specifically to this case. But what I can talk about is this group. Uh, and this group, as I said, has saved some 40,000 lives. They're the first responders. Uh, they operate in a combat zone. And the fact that they're being singled out and, and hit by the Syrian regime is frankly cause for concern. And we do support this group. We do support their efforts to save lives in uh, what is admittedly a very uh, complex and convoluted uh, battlefield scene. And to speak to your broader, to, to say that this group's, you know, which I think is the implication of your question, that they somehow have ties to. No, I'm not then, suggesting that okay. at all. I'm saying that it just strikes me as a bit odd that you're saying that this group is wonderful and does such a great job and you're commending them for their heroism. And yet, this you're doing this uh, just 10 days after the leader of this group, who was supposed to be, you know, who got his visa revoked and wasn't allowed to travel here. Uh, I understand there was an attack that killed some of its members, and I know that that's the immediate cause of it. Right. But it just strikes me as being a bit inconsistent if you say that this group is wonderful, and yet you also ban its leader from coming to the states to collect an award for which. And you say you're going to continue to support the group. I mean, if you have reason to revoke his visa, that he could be a security threat or something like that, why would you continue to support him? But again, I, I, I'm trying to separate this individual from uh, the All group. Right. So the guy is, is, you're saying that basically the, he, he, he is suspect, but his group is not? Well, again, I can't speak to the specific no, allegations against him, Matt. No, I'm sorry. I, I'm, 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 my hands are tied, too. Yeah, but, the other thing but, I, but yes, we're not condemning the group in off. any way whatsoever. We off. believe it's doing good work. How do you support this group and is not allowed to get into the states? This is the question. I understand that. And, you know, uh, all I can say is that. How can you separate the leader, the leader of the group from the group? Well, he's one individual in the group. Um, but the leader of the group. And any. Any individual, again, I'm broadening my language here for specific reasons, but any individual in any group uh, suspected of uh, ties or uh, relations with extremist groups uh, or that we had believed to be a security threat to the United States, we would act accordingly. But that does not, by extension, mean we condemn or uh, would cut off ties to the, the group for which that individual works for. It just seems a little... Uh, Can I just follow up on the group? Uh, which group is that? I mean, I, there are civil defense <laughs> groups, right? The, the White Helmets. Who, who the White Helmets. Uh, so white, white this helmets. is a group. Okay, so I, yeah, I this, is, this is a Syrian you know, civil defense group. I understand. Yep. I, but the White Helmets. Do, 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 do you know who finances them, how they operate, who are they supported by, what kind of organization they have? How do you get your information? Well, from um, and so on? well, I can say I mean, we, we provide we them with. Know a little bit well, well, I can tell you that we yeah. provide through USAID about right. twenty-three million dollars in assistance right. uh, to them. Um, so, I can say that they've saved over forty thousand lives, okay. uh, as I just mentioned at the, yeah. at the topper, uh, uh, right. by acting as first responders. Uh, they go into combat zones. They save people after attacks. You know, we've seen no action on the part of this group writ large. Uh, that indicates in any way that they're nothing but an impartial uh, group that, uh, like any humanitarian organization, works across lines of control uh, and is in contact with a range of groups uh, to facilitate their life 
saving efforts. And that's, you know, again, we've talked about this the last couple of days. Aleppo is, is a very complex situation. We understand that. Uh, and uh, for these groups to operate, you know, they, they have to be able to operate within the milieu on which they're uh, working. Mark, well, can, you, can, can you ask for some clarification? I mean, this, is, this just seems bizarre to me. You're giving this guy and his group $23 million. Yes, they do good work, they save lives, but you've revoked his visa for some reason. You won't say why, and it just doesn't make any sense. Why is the U.S. taxpayer supporting a group whose leader you have banned from coming to the States? Well, I mean, look, I'm always, uh, you know, willing to try to get more information. I, in this case, uh, I'm a bit a, restricted by the fact that well, this I, is, Well, you know, I know, but it just, I can't for talk the about average person, I don't think this makes any sense. And